man is a hybrid. Now what is the truth that it was told would be laughed aloud at? If it were not laughed aloud at, it would not be the truth. So for you who are paying a quick visit, this is the truth. We are a hybrid of the seed from Father Christmas and the eggs from the Easter Bunny. For you who are staying, we should come back to Wittgenstein who said we should listen to conversation around us, to what people say as the framework for philosophy, for us to understand philosophy, the structure of beliefs whereby we live and whereby we think and communicate. Now if we look around, there's a very strong tradition of Father Christmas, you know, flying around the earth in a single night, bringing presents to all these children and working with the elves. This is the Christmas. And then at Easter, Easter, from Easterus, you know, the eggs. We have the Easter bunny and the eggs. Very, very persistent. And so we can see there's the eggs at Easter, which is the conception. And then there's the birth, nine months later at Christmas. This is the common religion. This is what everyone believes. Everybody wants to be Father Christmas. Everyone wants to be rich and give everybody presents. Now, Father Christmas, obviously, even that has been Christianized. Originally, you know, Father Christmas we, we was called the man in the moon. Or more accurately, now we have the eminent scholar, Zechariah Sitchin, for which I owe most of this talk. Zechariah Sitchin showed that the, the Father Christmas was Enlil. So Enlil, so we were created from the seed from Enlil, from Father Christmas, or the man in the moon, and the eggs from the Easter Bunny. Now the Easter Bunny, more accurately, is the hare. The hare is associated with the moon in South America, and in Asia, in Tibet, China, associated between the moon and the hare, presumably because of the hare's behaviour at the full moon. But it's the hare. And here we have a simple pun in English, but it's the hare, the hairy one. Now, according to another eminent scholar, Jean-Pierre Hallett, and to the eminent scholar, Zechariah Sitchin, man was created by extraterrestrial visitors from by the goddess Inanna in Nippur. Now I heard several times as a child the expression that we were Nanny's little nippers. See, ordinary conversation, strong belief in Father Christmas, strong practice in the Easter eggs, and this repetition of we are Nanny's little nippers. And then obviously there's the virgin birth. So the virgin birth was our creation in a test tube as a hybrid. The goddess Inanna, Irani, Ernini, create, took the eggs from the earthling, the Lulu, which was Lilith, the first woman, the woman from which man and woman were created, the Lilith, the Lulu, the earthling. She took the eggs from the hairy one. I suppose you could say like, uh, you know, from Australopithecines. So we go back earlier into genetic engineering on this planet. Now the simple demonstration of genetic, prehistoric genetic engineering is from the jumping genes discovered by Kew Gardens the same genes in different fr fruit stuffs, fruit plants, and this genes makes the fruit to swell. Now, the, Kew Garden said these were jumping genes. They jumped from apples to pears to dates, you know, to avocados, 
you know, absolute nonsense. This was genetic engineering. So our food in this Garden of Eden has been genetically engineered. And so we, too, have been genetically engineered. Evolution is the history of genetic engineering. So the goddess, Inanna, well, they came to the earth, according to Zechariah Sitchin, to get the gold. This, they then instilled upon us as the religious duty to get gold to the temples. So they created man. They took the earthling with the fingers, took the eggs from the hairy one of Trollopithecines, and created, and took the eggs, and then took the sperm from Enlil which is the Y chromosome and create and, and fertilize these two in a test tube the virgin birth to create man the goddess Inanna at Nippur created man from the eggs from the Easter bunny the hairy one from Lilith Lulu the first woman she t they took her eggs fertilized with them of the seed from the God from Father Christmas and his elves and where is elves the self is an elf he is our Heavenly Father and he flew around the, the world in a single night because he's orbiting the world isn't he in, in his spaceship If we were not left aloud at it would not be the truth.